The ocean is a world of sound. In the darkness of the sea, whales, dolphins, and other marine animals use sound to navigate while migrating, to locate each other over great distances for mating, to find food, avoid predators, and care for their young. Human technology is now drastically changing this environment, damaging a delicate web of life, threatening the ability of whales and other marine animals to function, and ultimately, to survive. High-intensity sonar used by the U.S. and other navies to locate submarines can emit sounds over 235 decibels, as loud as a rocket blasting off. Air guns, used for offshore oil and gas exploration, emit intense noise bursts that can cover thousands of square miles. Imagine a day in the city disrupted by excruciating sound. Sounds so loud, they disorient you, paralyzing your ability to function. As we industrialize the marine environment, we are destroying life. Bahamas, March 2000. A US Navy ship blasts high-intensity sonar during training. 16 whales strand, bleeding around the ears and brain. The U.S. government report concludes the mass mortality was caused by high-intensity sonar. Beaked whales observed there for years were never seen again. Canary Islands, September 2002. 18 whales of three different species die on the beach in the wake of an international sonar exercise. Washington State. May 2003, scores of porpoises and killer whales panic as a U.S. Navy destroyer uses high-intensity sonar and dead porpoises later are found along the shore. North Carolina, January 2005, 37 whales of three different species, some bleeding internally, strand and die along the outer banks after a U.S. sonar exercise. The death toll continues. Canary Islands, 1985, 1988, 1989, 1991, 2004. Japan, 10 strandings since 1960. Greece, May, 1990. U.S. Virgin Islands, October, Madeira, May, to Brazil, June. Gulf of California, 2002, September, Hawaii, 2000, July, 2004. and other marine animals can be protected with common sense precautions. Put vital habitat off limits to oil exploration and peacetime training with sonar. Avoid areas where whales migrate, feed and carve. Use listening devices to make sure whales and dolphins are not nearby. Limit high intensity sound until scientists know more about harm to whales and other marine life. We can ensure our security and meet our energy needs without endangering the wildlife that shares our oceans. Help protect whales, dolphins and other marine animals from high intensity sonar and industrial ocean noise. Visit NRDC, the Natural Resources Defense Council, and IFOR, the International Fund for Animal Welfare Online. Make your voice heard.